Hey guys, today I'm going to speak about a miracle, which is a living miracle of Saint Spiridon. And for those that I guess don't know about what he did at the first ecumenical synod, I'll explain it after this miracle. Just before I start, all I want to say is please, times are very hard, but if you can, please continue to help us as we are building church number 16 and also for our feeding programs that we send money to Kenya every single month. I'll put the links below in the description and may your reward be eternal. The first living miracle that I'd like to say is that his body remains imperishable. Even more impressive is that his relics maintain a temperature of a living body. And many scientists have tried to examine this. And of course, they can't answer it. It's divine to think that, and I really do feel sorry with all respect to any Protestant New Age Christian that says that we pray to dead people. They are not dead. These saints are in heaven with our Lord. They intercede for us. And as you can see here, imagine that, the temperature of a living body. Another living miracle of this saint is that he's also known as the walking saint because the silk slippers that he wears, that they have in his reliquary, are actually worn out. So ju just imagine, on his holy relics, they have slippers and they get worn out. And it is said that they wear out because the saint walks amongst us. That is his way of showing us that he's amongst us. He intercedes and answers our prayers. So he's amongst us in the world performing miracles. And in actual fact, his coffin has a removable bottom. So priests can easily replace his shoes. And that is the other living miracle that takes place during these days. So what I will do is I'll put the holy icon of Saint Spirit on. And I'm not sure if you know, but he's always depicted with a tile and flame going up and water pouring down. And this is because of a miracle that took place in the First Ecumenical Council where he spoke and explained, as I said initially, about the Holy Trinity. Now, when the saint held the tile, he did the sign of the cross on the tile. And he said, in the name of the Father, and made the fire go up from the tile. But then he did the sign of the cross. And he said, and the sun and water flowed down. And then he did the sign of the cross again and he said, and the Holy Spirit. And then in his hand, he had soil that had remained. And that's how he explained the Holy Trinity. It was three different elements, but together it was one. It was the tile. Please don't forget our charities. Please let's help our Kenyan Orthodox brothers and sisters in Christ. And may your reward be eternal. Thank you for watching. Like an unworthy sinner that I am, I pray for you morning and night.